just making sure everything's up and running and yes I do need a haircut but remember we're still on lockdown okay so yeah it's everything's connected that's great just making sure my stream is up and running just give me a second guys okay yeah it looks like everything's up and running cool okay so uh, welcome back to a, a, another live stream uh, today I'm gonna play Port Royal 4 uh, I only found out this game was coming out today and I bought it straight away um, at the moment it is fairly expensive for what you actually get from the looks of it and they didn't do a great game on Port Royal 3 but let's hopefully that uh, they sort of those issues so I haven't actually played Port Royal 4 anyway uh, so we're gonna actually do the Experience of your captains increased 25% faster. I'm basically going with people, I'm just changing a few names and that's about it. Hopefully you guys can actually hear me right. By the end of the 16th century, the empire of the Spanish crown was so large that the sun never set on it. From all over the world, riches flowed into the motherland, especially to Madrid, the place of the royal court, the mecca of flatterers, schemers and officials. Anyone blessed with title or wealth found a safe and comfortable life here. For those who were not blessed with this, there is above all a way out. The Spanish Caribbean colonies, from which the wealth of South and Central America is shipped across the Atlantic. The poor people were allowed to leave willingly because life was hard and labor was scarce in the colonies. The settlers are driven by the hope for a better life, without poverty, but in freedom, and perhaps even prosperity. But even the great rulers of Europe look eager to the Spanish colonies. Their fabulous riches promise something no monarch can resist. Power. I knew they were going to say power. It's just literally like so it is only a matter of time before Spain's supremacy is openly challenged. Greetings in the name of God and as representative of the Holy Crown of Spain. Heaven sends you, for the area to be colonized is vast and the development is a true test of our humility and devotion before God. And our intelligence, of course. Due to the large expansion of our colony, the supply situation is not equally good everywhere. Some towns find it difficult to secure their demand because of the distances to production sites, but also because of the lack of necessary production, labor, and building materials. Your first task will be to ensure the supply of basic commodities for daily needs in your home region. Details can be found on your task list. Of course, of May course. the blessing of God rest upon you. God will 
should be on my side. Don't lie to me. So I actually forgot to uh, log into my Twitch so I could actually see if anyone's actually communicating with me. Okay, so we're on the chat room now. Excellent. Alright, sorry about that guys. so I can actually reply back to people. Okay, so something I didn't look at beforehand is the graphics settings. So we're on full screen, HD, uh, we're on monitor zero. Um, Texture detail below. No. Okay, let's go for normal. So I'm just going to confirm this. Do you want to change settings? Yes. So I'm in this Spanish little village here and it looks like I've got three little ships so they've given me a few options already. So this is a close uh, delta anyway, I haven't, I haven't played this at all. So let's just dock with this town. I would assume these are all trades, yeah. They've just dealt with that. Uh, let's have a look and see what they produce. So they produce cotton, bananas and apples, tobacco and clothing. So at the moment they've got quite a lot of bananas. So they're, they're producing 18 but they're consuming 2. What else? So they probably actually want vegetables at this place, so it'd probably be a good place to actually sell vegetables. And they want cloth, so they, they've got minus five on cloth, but they're not producing any. So these are places where we can trade to actually make some decent money. Uh, clothing is quite expensive. So you need a warehouse transfer goods from one place to another. Uh, send convoy, set waypoints. Oops. Before that would have uh, opened the trade screen. So how much money we've got? We've got 192,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. So we're going to buy some of this, actually no we're not, that's just an average cost so I don't particularly want to buy that at all. Uh, let's go and have a little look around shall we. So they could probably do with uh, some meat here, and I've just found a place where they do do meat. So I'm gonna get some tobacco from here. Oh, I'm getting going to get used to that. They've changed how you interact. That's fine. Good to have a change. So I'm gonna buy 30 tobacco. Uh, for a price of 64 and then I'm going to set his waypoint up to here I haven't actually entered a city yet and 
actually see what the graphics look like and what we can do. With the type of money we've got, I would assume we can probably actually uh, make a factory for something. They're doing really bad for everything. Uh, I could have bought f uh, fruit from back over there for 64 and sell it here for 72. Oh no, so that's how much they've got. 108. Uh, I'm just going to send this guy back in. Because I haven't played port, any of the port rows for a long, long time. I've uh, forgotten where all the good trade routes are. Assuming that all the trade routes would be the same. I doubt them much. So, I've done it again. Okay. All done. Okay, it wouldn't let me put it on. Oh, I need a tried license. See, it didn't tell me that. I did actually click on tutorial as well, but it hasn't actually taught me anything from it, unless I have somehow missed the tutorial. So I'm going to buy 30 of these, because I think I can sell them at a much better price. over here or town whatever <laughs> Everything you care about in one. Okay. Okay, so. Everything seems to be working quite well. Paused. Oops. Spacebar actually pauses the game. Okay, so uh, let's trade with these people. So this time I'm going to buy some of these. Because they're actually a really good price. So let's buy as much as we can to 60. I don't think they've got anything else here. No, they're just got fruit. So I think it was this place which was wanting fruit. I knew you've got meats. Lovely meats. Yeah, see? Average price 43 is what I bought it for. So we're selling at 72 and we bought it for 43 averagely. So I'm going to sell them four here.
saying you can't just like click on this button up here and like go through all the people that you've got. You know, that'd be quite good. That's why I can trade my time and maximum execution per day. Okay, so they definitely don't want to add that one. Right, we sold all our fruit and we made a nice profit. Tobacco. I really need to sell my tobacco. Let's buy loads of these. looks of it, it's only Spain which are actually on this map. It looks like they don't have any of the other cities, which is a huge pity. It looks like it. I don't know if that's true or not. It just looks like it's only Spain in this game. So units of crap. Tactics. Oh wow. So you have got like little tactics you can do. It looks fairly light me, but it looks like I've been locked down so long that I actually grew my hair even longer. And I'm no longer British, I'm Spanish. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even accept me in their country. They'd be like, no, <laughs> we don't want you anymore. So, fame. The British. So it says here that there's uh, Brit uh, 15 British ports and they have 22,000 inhabitants. They've got 15 trade convoys. And the Netherlands, Netherlands are here as well. They've got five cities and France have got 10. So there, there must be other one the cities. I just haven't seen them yet. Uh, that looks like something to do. Oh, oh so you need... Oh, you need these uh, like fame uh, star things, whatever you call them, and you can unlock buildings and stuff from the looks of it. I'm gonna have a read into that. Ah, so that's how we go on our convoy list. We had something similar in the last game, but obviously this is the first uh, playthrough I've done. Okay, so yeah, you can click through all your people. That's good. Okay, on tour. That's when they go off to the south and back on the lead, if I remember correctly. The game speed, highlight towns. Okay, so you can highlight towns which produce certain resources. So we've got grain, so we already know they had a lot of grain. Uh, and up there. Fruit, we obviously knew they had that. I thought that said Savile then, I was just felt like, <laughs> if you want to be called Savile. Oh, it's on the map as well. Oh, that's cool. I actually quite like that. Oh, that's going to make life a hell of a lot more easy. 
small warehouses. We have no warehouses. Um, how do we enter a town? We actually want to see a town. So I can hear my baby crying downstairs, so I, I would very much like to enter a town before I head off because I'm going to have to get it out of bed. In fact, I'm not even sure it's possible, guys. I'm going to end it here, just as I said, uh, my baby's up so I can hear her cry. Um, but I'm going to have a look at how to actually play the game. Um, but I, this is just like a first uh, impression of the game. It looks okay. The graphics look nice. Uh, the gameplay, a few items have changed already, but it's nothing major. Uh, for £40, it's, it's, a, it's quite expensive. You know, that, that's over $50 um, if you're in the US. So, you know, it's quite expensive. And as I said, at the moment, I can't... Oh, I can't enter the village. Or maybe that's just how you enter them. Oh, it is. I think that's just how... I wonder if that's just how you uh, do stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more research. But maybe you don't actually enter villages anymore, you just zoom into them. Wow, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um this might actually be how you do stuff. I haven't actually, as I said, I, I saw the game and I bought it straight away and I made the live stream straight away. But I was a, a big fan of both Port Royal. The first it is the express the wish of the Holy Crown to improve life in the, the towns of your the region. One I wasn't Only then will we gradually like devote ourselves to other problems like until a uniform of quality of life and uh, growth is achieved in large parts. Apparently, I actually completed. people happy in my hometown. That's amazing because I was too busy talking and I didn't actually do anything. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, so just like on the last game, I will set that up. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed my uh, live stream. Um, this was just a first impressions of it, uh, but I'm going to pop back tomorrow and um, actually do a pop play for as I said my baby's awake so I'm gonna have to get it up all right thank you very much guys see you later